in on our number 10 spot, how to smoke a pork bun. This was a lot of fun. Hot and fast, love it. Just shaking this, about to jack this, blow this up, make all the goodness just go everywhere. Hot and fast, let it rip, tater chip. Now this is our homemade slaw. If you ain't tried this, man, you're missing out. Ooh, she's a beauty. Coming in at number nine is our boy Wes, showing us how we brine and smoke turkey. Really proud of him for doing this. He knocked it out with nothing but the written instructions only. First time cooking a turkey, and man, he nailed it. Oh, look at that. Is that not super juicy? Good job. Coming in at number eight is how to make prime rib. This was one of our favorite meals to eat. Took me a minute to get my tying right, but whoa, 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 you're not supposed to do that, Cosmo. That's not what the keyboard cook said to do. Oh yeah, but there's the Texas beef. About to put her in a smoke bath and let her rip. Is that not the craziest looking bark you've ever seen in your life? Hashtag nailed it. Had to make us some of this little stuff to go on the side. Yeah. Coming in at number seven is smoke rib recipe. Now this was one of our favorites. My boy Nick has never tasted our uh, rib glazes up until now. So we went on ahead and cooked four racks up and let him be the deciding factor of which one he liked the best. And I'm gonna tell you, they were all good because we nailed the cook as you can see with our little toothpick. But like I said, my boy Nick wanted to get in there and try that cherry apple and some of that peach and pineapple for himself. So we did it for him. Get after it, Nick. Yeah, get in there, boy. Coming in at number six is the Porterhouse Steak. This is where the SPG started and was our very first test cook. Now this was a huge cut of meat and man, was it good. Fire! Man, look at the crust on that sucker. Now we're gonna put the shun knee deep into it, get her cut up. Next up on the list is our El Reno onion burgers. And man, I'm sure proud to be rocking Phil Cycle. Phil Cycle, El Reno, Oklahoma. Uh, I've been cooking onion burgers since I was about 13 years old. So we knocked them out at the house. And man, I gotta tell you, that was a hot ass day too. But man, these burgers made it way worthwhile. Cooked them up on the ballistic griddle, brought them inside, hit them with a little bit of mustard and pickle. And man, get in there, boy. Get in there. Coming up at number four is Burnt Ends. One of the most requested videos of the year. Still get the request to this day. Cosmo, can you show us how to make burnt ends? Yeah, I already did. Watch this video. Boy, look at that. That is amazing color right there. Nice forklift in the background too, brother. Yeah, brown chicken, brown cow. Look at that goodness. Man, these were perfect. Hashtag, it just went. Next on the list is number three, ribeye steak. Now the cold day outside and we're just, you know, gonna do a little steak practice. Not too much on the trimming here. Just wanting to really test the new flavor profile and show you guys how we do it on the state competition circuit. Look at them marks. Them grill grates, boy. Get that butter on there. Yes, sir. Set it up there, let it rest. Let's knock out another one. Oh, look at that. Woo! Them work good. Coming in at number two is our rib candy testing. My boy Jeff Sholin. Finally bought beer, so I said, hey, let's do it at your house. He knows how to cook, so we did. We rocked the pit barrel, a couple baby bags, a little bit of margaritas with some Coronas in them. Yeah, that's how we do it. Not bad color for old Jeffrey. Stay tuned, maple bourbon, Asian brown sugar, coming your way. And coming in at number one is she'll love your meat. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, 
Boys, this is our Texas brisket, low and slow. Took me about 400 hours to cook. You know how it is. Gotta keep true to Texas. Look at that bark. That's what I'm talking about. Jiggle, 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 girl, jiggle. Yeah. Had to wrap them up in butcher paper. Back then I only had 18 inch wide. Now you can go on CosmosQ.com and buy real butcher paper, 24 inch wide. Oh man, look at that jiggle. Man, the bark, the smoke ring on this was amazing. Well, hey man, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing and I'll catch you in the next video. Woo, 2018, what the heck was that?